Hello guys, this is Monster15 here, and this is a video I forgot to upload before I uploaded my other video with me showing off a little preview of poses I did with this guy. So this is basically going to be the unboxing video of, my, of the SH Rewards Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Toby McGuire from No Way Home. And yeah, this is basically the box he comes in. And he's six inches tall. <coughs> Sorry. And these um, can, yeah, they can be posed in many kinds of poses, I guess. They, this one specializes in their articulated figures. But yeah, let's get right into it. Basically, he just opens up on the side right here. That shows us not a little Toby pose right there. I don't know the original box this is shipped in, it's just like a brown box. And that's the figure in there. And this is based off of his appearance in the way home. I'm just getting out of the box. Now, obviously, mine's going to be a little bit more articulated than it was when I first got him because I obviously messed up him a little bit. Yeah, that's him. And I don't really have like a proper camera to like pose him in, but yeah. It's <laughs> this is just from this angle. Yeah, they say articulation is pretty good on the head. It's pretty good. And this is on a ball jointed neck, so you can put take off the neck, and that's also what you use to. Head sculpt, right here. and then it comes with two head sculpts. I'm assuming this was supposed to be based off of um, the ending of No Way Home when Peter was saying that he was in so much pain because that's him smiling. This is just a neutral Tobey Maguire head sculpt, and then it comes with two webs that you can attach to the the ball joint. <coughs> on the hand after you pull them off and then one which is the the third one's the longest one where you can attach that letter in that little insert into uh, what is it into one of these hands right here and then there's also then there's also two small ones that are also meant to go into the ball joint and hex and then another cool piece I have about this is he comes with an unmasked head sculpt that you can put in his hand, which is cool. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me see if I can put this somewhere else. Yeah, let's put that there. And then yeah, basically he's pretty fun to pose. He can articulate him pretty well. He's got a good amount of articulation in the ball joint at wrist and this is my first SH figure awards figure. I did get the No Way Home 3 pack which I'm also going to be unboxing in this video too. It's just on the other side of the camera. Yeah, he's pretty cool though. And it's got a good amount of articulation and a Butterfly joint right in the shoulder. And then you also can rotate him at full 360 degrees, same with the arms. I mean, I guess the cap bar right there. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You also can put him into some like upside down poses, which is cool. 
And then I can just show you how the hands come off. Basically, you can pull them up like that. And then you would just put the webs right here on the ball joint. And yeah. Be very careful with these since these are, they are really fragile compared to like a normal Marvel Legends figure. I will say from my experience with the Marvel Legends and then this one, I mean this one in my Marvel Legends 3 pack, you know my home pack, this one is a lot better than, uh, these are a lot better quality. And also the Toby that comes in the other one is a lighter red for some reason. This one, I think that they nailed it, to be honest. And yeah, the, the articulation is pretty good on the head too. And he's especially good because you can put him into some cool poses. That's why I like the head a lot on this one compared to the uh, No Way Home Pack one. You can put him into that little pose. Yeah, so I'm gonna put him off to the side. Well, let's show you his head sculpt. His human face before I put him off to the side. Basically, just put, take off the head sculpt like that. And you just put it back on like that. And then for the other head sculpt, you just take off this head. I'm not going to though, since I, I'm just, yeah, not, I worry about using these figures too much, but I just wanted to make this video to show you guys. Yeah, this is Toby in his head sculpt. The head gets about the same amount of range as his mask head sculpt does. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I thought they did a good job with this head sculpt. The Hot Toys one, I think, is going to be the infinite winner once it comes out. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. But I'd say this is an I. I'm not going to say how much I spent on it since I guess I, I'm just weird. I don't want to talk about it, but yeah. But if you want like a figure that's doesn't, that's like less than Hot Toys, I would highly recommend these. Because these are pretty cool. I might get the Andrew and Tom one. I'm not for sure though. I mainly got Toby because he's my favorite one. Obviously out of all the Spider-Men. But yeah. I'm going to put him off to the side and we can look at the Marvel Legends figure. Around. There it again. And this is the Hasbro Marvel Legends one. All three of the Spider Man come in, and this is a picture of how they look. Which I will say, it is kind of impossible to get Toby in this pose. I already pulled them out once or twice, and to, you know mess with them because I got this today after waiting a week and they can see the side paint job like of the photographs that are rendered are pretty good I'd say it's doable to get Tom in this pose and Andrew I mainly like to pose them with stands but I don't have any stands at the moment so it's kind of tricky for me there's another cool photograph and then here's a digital render of how they look and basically this comes with all three Spideys, Tom, I mean Tom, Toby, and Andrew. And then each one of them comes with six hands, wall crawling hands, whip, whipping hands, and then punching hands. I mean uh, fist hands I guess. And yeah. Obviously Toby's his are categorized by the how they should that they're Andrew has them a bit mixed up. And then Tom has the wall crawling hands on already, then the quipping hands and the fist hands are there. And each one of them comes with the same exact web model, which you just have to attach uh, this circuit, this triangular part, onto their wrist and then just do poses with them. And yeah, I'm going to pull them out so I can show you guys. Sorry if I don't look that good. I miss one. You know, sick. I miss the quarantine because of COVID. And I opened this earlier, and I will say it's a little bit annoying to get it back in this box, but I'm planning on posting like a, another slideshow thing with the figures from this. 
That's why I'm just doing this video. And I know some of you, uh, some of my viewers or whoever subscribes to my channel might be like, why, are you, why am I posting like action figure stuff on the channel? That's supposed to be a Lego channel. And um, well, I like action figures too, so. I wanna try to make it like a, it's mainly gonna be a Lego channel, but if I have like a Toby McGuire and stuff on this video, I'm just gonna post it because I love Spider Man. Yeah, here we go. Each one of their hands come in these little recycled material bags. This is Tom's. And then I'll just open them. Right. Let's get out the figures first, though. Yeah, that's Tom's, here's Toby's, and there's Andrew's, and if you couldn't tell by the box, Andrew has the darkest tone red out of all of them. And then this is what the web's coming. And just like on the box, they all come from the same angle. Toby's on the left, Andrew on the right, Tom on the middle. And to get them out, you just have to I'm going to this. Well, the figures from the same material as the hands do. Try to support the environment. And yep, here's Toby. And then if we compare that to the S figure awards one, it, to me it almost looks like they pulled the same model, to be honest. Except that this one, you can tell it's a lot more detailed than this. I like this. Interesting. I'm going to hurry and stop the head on the S Schwartz one so I can show you guys the difference. And like I said earlier in the video, I mainly just got the three pack. I got the three pack originally before I got the figure warts, Toby. And then I saw the figure arts, and I was like, I have to get this. So I'm not sure if I'll, be able to, if I'll be able to get the Hot Toys one. So I did. Yeah. Basically, here's the SH figure arts compared to the, the No Way Home 3 pack one. Lighter tone red and blue, which I think this is supposed to be pulled from. I'm assuming like Spider Man 3. But that's just my opinion. I'm not sure though. I preferably prefer the dark blue though. Unless you can, this one is definitely a better one, I would say. Let me just put this back up here. Let's check this Toby first before I pull out the other guys. Basically, Toby is not as articulated on this one, as you can tell. He's a little bit more stiffer. Even after messing up this one earlier, he's still way stiff. And these come in very stiff, I will say that. When I got him out, I was super freaked out I was going to break him. But basically, good articulation, I would say. You also can rotate it then at the ways at the upper chest I, got, I actually don't know yeah <laughs> and toe there's not any toe arc articulation like on the sh figure arts one but there is a swivel though and you can bend the knees which i'm happy about i was worried earlier i was going to break this part but according to the photos you can get this part to move and you can it just freaks me out <laughs> doing it because of how stiff Toby is. And Andrew's is a little bit stiff like this too. And this is like the only way to get close to getting that that pose that's on the cover where 
Toby like squatting, kind of. Take his little spidey pose. And if you hear a sound in the background, it's just my little dog. That's basically the most I was able to get out of him. I think it's that I prefer, really just prefer the SH figure words figure out of this one. This one's cool and all, it's just not my favorite, I guess. You know, this was the one I was originally going to get before I decided on this thing for the And I believe it or not, this actually is my first Tom Holland the Marvel Legends figure. And this one's Tom Holland. This one I find pretty cool. I like the design. I can definitely see the No Way Home f uh, actor figure in this. And he is just a little bit shorter than Toby. Which I guess makes sense since he is the youngest fireman out of all three of them. He is his, his arms are very stiff and elbows compared to Toby and Andrew. And for him, you can't exactly move this part past the bottom knee, the bottom calf, like Toby. I've messed with it for hours, but I couldn't. But he's the only one that actually has the rotating waist out of all of them. Which I find is strange, because I thought that would have been cool to add to the other figures. But that's just me. And I'm going to show off the hands, and I think I'm going to show it off with Andrew. And then, I've heard a lot about this rumor, but I guess that with the other Marvel Legends figures, of Tom Holland's figure, that they didn't paint all the web lines, which I find is very weird. So I'm happy I got this one for that reason. You yeah, know, he basically has the same articulation as Toby, and they can rotate their legs right here. That way he can get a little bit more poses in. And yeah, that's Tom. I guess I'll put him in a little spiky pose like I did with Toby before I'm done with him. And yeah. Basically there's Tom, Spidey. Well, the one who I think is like the best one out of all of them is Andrew, especially if you got the original Andrew Garfield Marvel Legends when it came out for the Tasm 2, which, uh, that was an interesting figure. And here's Andrew, which is my favorite one, I think, out of the whole bunch. I mean, the Toby one is obviously my first favorite, but for a complete detail, they I'm a little critici I'm criticizing Toby a bit because I already have the SH Fear Awards, but I prefer that one. But out of these ones, I just prefer Andrew. Because they nail the body shape and the freaking lenses. And, I th and t Andrew has the most articulation, I think. And I actually, all of them have the same amount, but he was the one that was not, he was the least stiff one out of all of them when I got them all out of the package. And he can also do with the thing, same thing with his knees. Except with this, where he's like Toby, where I was scared to do this. <laughs> yeah, Andrew's pretty sick. And then he also can do the same thing that Toby has. Except his makes a crunch sound, I think it's because he has a little bit more in there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd say Andrew's definitely my favorite one out of all these. In this pack, at least. And then I'll show off the hands. Basically, um... With the hands, you basically just do the same thing as you have the fear warts. And the cool thing, right before I get to the hands, is that it does show the web shooters on Andrew. It doesn't show them on Tom's, though. But yeah, basically, they used to do the same thing that you do with the fear warts, except this one is a longer piece. So, let's be careful about that. Let's see. I'll just find Andrew's so I can. Is. Let's see. There's a random hand. That's with a wet looking hand. And just like that, just insert it. I will say, these ones I feel a lot more comfortable inserting the pieces in compared to the figure works since I worry if the figure works in, since it's like a the expensive one that he's going to break. 
Yeah. It's basically Andrew though, which I like. It's definitely my favorite of all of them. And then I swept the camera again. Actually, that's why we just put the camera down. And you can, all the hands are like this, where it has a fully rotatable hand and wrist, and you can move up and down. Or I guess back and forth, I guess. Yeah. Sorry, I keep looking back to the back. My dog is just, I had to watch him. Yeah. Andrew, I think, is the one that's the least stiff out of all of them. And I think we can put him next to Toby. I think it's a good height. Uh, actually, Toby's just a little bit too tall to be up to his range. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool, though. I might get the figure awards of this one, to be honest. I'm not sure. I've always been more of a fan of Toby and Andrew, but I'm maybe gonna get all three because i already have toby but if i want to get andrew and tom i might but i'm not sure but i'd say if these guys if you can't afford a fear works and if you want all three of these guys and if you're a huge spidey fan <laughs> these guys are worth it because they are pretty cool supposedly they are going to do re-releases where these are actually going to have Head sculpts, because unfortunately these do not come with head sculpts, which is a little, little downside about these. But other than that, they are very cool, and I would highly recommend them. And I know this is a Lego channel, but I'm going to do action figure reviews on here sometimes, especially if it's Spider-Man. But yeah. That's basically the figures. Um, I'm not going to worry about too much. I guess I'll pull out the web and show you guys, but... These things are really just annoying that a lot of people, when I got pulled out the webs, I was, I was like, oh no, they're going to be cool, but they're really not the best, but yeah, these are pretty cool though. If you don't have anything else like to put on them, these are, these do work as good webs. Let me see, just do that. Then they're all set. Yeah, that's all them. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm trying to figure out what Lego video to do next, but, and sorry if this all looks all messy like this. It's just kind of my college workstation since I'm a college student. And yeah, but if you can't get this figure, I would highly recommend, like if you can't get these ones specifically, since these are like Chinese imports, they are not from America, but they are pretty cool though. If you can get these, I would highly recommend them over this, but if you can't get this or a hot toy, I would recommend this because these are the second best, they so just can't really pose as much, but they can pose and they are, they aren't as fragile, so that's a good thing about them. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, I will see you guys in the next one.